We are now going to talk about network topologies, which is basically how networks can be set up in an environment. There are five main types of topologies, bus, ring, star, wireless and hybrid. In a bus topology, all the devices are connected to one main cable known as the bus. At each end there are terminals and these terminals destroy data once they reach them because then they'll up, bounce up and down the actual network. Devices are connected to the actual bus line using T connectors. Now these T connectors, basically if they go down the device will no longer be connected to the network. But if the entire bus line is cut at any point, the whole network will go down. The next topology is a ring topology. In this case, devices are connected to a cable in a ring formation and data on the network is usually sent around using a token ring network access method. If a device goes down on this network or if the cable goes down on this network, the whole network goes down. But it is one of the easiest types of networks to set up. The third type of network topology is a star topology. Here, all devices are connected to a central node. Now in this case, it's a switch. So every device has a cable plugging into this specific switch. If the device or the cable goes down, the other devices can independently continue to use the network. Only the device that has the malfunction will no longer have access to the network. A wireless topology doesn't use any cables at all. Instead, devices are connected using wireless network adapters that are either inbuilt into them or connected using USB. Now, they all connect to an address known as a service set identifier. So this needs to be set up before the network can be produced. Okay, this can be used for nodes and it can also be used for devices. We live in the wireless age now. Finally is a hybrid topology. In a hybrid topology, we are combining the other four types of topologies. So it could all be around the use of a bus line. On this bus line, we could have a server computer connected via T connector. We then could have a switch connected via a T connector that uses a start topology to connect the systems as well as a router. The router could give us access to the internet. This switch could also connect to another switch that could be located in another room. This switch could have a printer connected it via a star method. And then going back to the bus line, there could be a ring topology connected as well, allowing more devices to be connected. So I hope you understand the five different types of network topologies.